Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Emily. I love macrame, thrifting, and a good DIY project. Today I'm sharing with you five easy to find thrifted wall decor ideas. I was looking around my home and realized I have a bunch of things hanging on my walls that are thrifted. I just thought it'd be super fun to share with you these five simple things that I think anybody could find at the thrift store. Maybe you'll have to go to a few, but if you know your well-stocked thrift stores, then I honestly think you could find these there. In fact, I was so confident that I could go to the thrift store and find any of these things that I went to the thrift store and I found every single one of these items in one trip. I didn't buy them because I already have them, <laughs> but I did go and we looked together. Before we jump into things, if you're not already, feel free to follow me on Instagram at emilyfaith22. Let's not waste any more time and let's jump right on into things. First thing that makes wonderful wall decor that's easy to find thrifting are baskets. I have gone through different phases of having different baskets hung in different places around my house. I have these beautiful circle, flat laying kind of baskets. I don't actually know what they are, but they come in a set of three. Right now I have two displayed in my dining room area. And I also have these three unique baskets that hang in my hallway. I don't photograph them much because I don't get much light in the hallways, so they don't photograph well, but I love them. Baskets make a great statement piece. They are always at the thrift stores. At least in every thrift store I go to, I see tons of baskets. Now let's jump over to my thrift store footage and let me show you guys the baskets that I did find on my trip to the thrift store. I came across this super cute pair of baskets, they're matching, and they were being sold as a set. Loved those. I also found this kind of flat placemat that could be used on a wall. And then this was the last one I found, just another really simple basket, great for hanging on a wall. Number two, unique or vintage paintings, embroidery, pictures, those good old thrift store pictures that you can find. In my home, although the, my favorite is from an antique store, I have this beautiful old man face portrait that is true painting. I absolutely am obsessed with it. I just love it. It's one of my favorites. Recently I found this other sort of painting at the thrift store that I love on my kitchen shelves. I also have this little embroidered looking man <laughs> that's hung in my home. So I have definitely found some fun vintage feeling pictures and paintings that just add a really fun element. This is what I came across at the thrift store that was super, super cute. I didn't get it as you know, but you have to see what I found. This very sweet little set of four floral prints I absolutely loved these. I didn't have a place for them, so I passed on them. But guys, look how beautiful they are. They're also kind of expensive for the fact they're $5 each. But when you find something really good, I kind of think it's worth it. But this was something really special I came across, and I thought you guys would love it. Also found this little set of prints i don't really know what you want to call them but i really liked the images inside and i love the frames with the mat and little like farm prairie sort of style pictures really love those my third easy to find thrifted wall decor idea is hats you guys, what I love about thrifted hats is that not only are they practical, you guys know I love my hats, but they make the cutest wall decor. You can hang them up and you don't even have to go for straw hats. You can go for, you know, fedora, cowboy hats, whatever. A secret about my hats is that this is the only one that I truly wear. As you guys can see, this hat in the middle, I bought it thinking it fit right and I tried to do this little DIY cutting it, which I did to this one because it was more like sombrero-y, but when I cut it, it's just too small. The rim is it's just too short and it does not look right. So 
Now it actually is just wall decor. The one on the top I do use and I do wear occasionally, but it's a little big. These I find are actually just so cute hanging on my wall. In the winter, I can switch them out for my non-straw hats and it's practical, it's cute. Now let's jump over to the thrift store and let me show you guys what we found for hats. I came across this really great straw hat. Now the brim is too small, so I probably wouldn't wear it, but if I was looking for just wall decor, I would remove this bow and situation happening. <laughs> and I could always like put a little black band on it or whatever I would want. And I just thought it was so cute and it would be the perfect hat to hang up on a wall. And found this one, which I love as is everything about it and I was actually sad that it didn't fit me because I would have bought it if it did. One thing I didn't mention but I think goes right along with hats would be really unique fun bags. I could hang this right up there with my hats. Super super cute texture color. Loved this and wanted to share that with you. Number four picture frames. I can't have a thrifted wall decor without picture frames. Thrift stores are full of picture frames. <laughs> They're everywhere and I frequently find picture frames. I've come across some really good gems. I have this really special one with a newborn photo of my son. I absolutely love this frame. And then I have some that were super cheap Ikea frames, but I got them thrifting and painted them white. Have my little like family photos from a while back displayed on my wall in those. I have this other one I got thrifting that I put these little words in. Life is full of open fields and it's super cute. So what I love is you guys can just find affordable frames thrifting. You can paint them white if they're not cute and you can print out your own art. You can print out family photos. It's just a super affordable way to decorate that of course I had to mention. So let's see what I could find at the thrift store of any cute frames that could be displayed around the home. I actually came across so many different options for frames. I found this cute wood one with the little circle and this gold one if you guys are into gold. There was also this set of black frames. I know black is always classic and they were matching. I think those would be perfect for something printable. I found this, I actually got this one. Very simple little skinny wood frame. And then these I loved and I would paint these white because I don't love the gold, but I think white would really give them a new look. I also came across this black frame that was in great condition and so big and a great price. If I needed that, I would have gotten it. <laughs> Sorry about the light. It was a little brighter when I started this and it's getting real dark in here. The fifth and final thing, it is kind of along the lines of frames, but I think that it's a really fun, unique idea and that is to do your own DIY chalkboard using a thrifted frame. I have a video, I'll link it below, of turning a thrifted frame into a really cute chalkboard. I only have one chalkboard. I don't currently actually have it displayed in my home because it's in my son's room. So we actually have this chalkboard set up in his room and he draws on it. I have some friends who have gotten really big frames thrifting and turned it into chalkboard and they have it like above their mantle and their fireplace and they switch out the words for every season. I will take Olin's out of his room and I have used it for different things around different holidays or baby announcements. <laughs> I kind of love this idea. If you guys do have a bigger empty space and you're looking for a fun statement thing, I think a chalkboard is the perfect thrifted wall decor to DIY. We went thrifting and I was curious about what I was gonna find because you do need to find a picture with the right type of backing. It has to be kind of like a harder, kind of like a harder backing because that's what you're gonna paint. So I did find one and it would have been so cute as a chalkboard. It was a great size, so let me show you that. Here's the frame. I actually really like the white kind of creamy distressed rim of it. And this is the backing. I hope you guys know what I mean by that harder backing that you can paint it with your chalkboard paint, take out the glass and you are good to go. I think it would be so cute and it's a great size. That is it. Those are my five easy to find thrifted wall decor ideas. 
That's a mouthful. I hope you guys liked this video. I haven't done one exactly like this, but I loved the idea of seeing if we could go to the thrift store and find these things. And I was so happy that we found everything. I was like one hat short of three hats, but other than that, we found everything. And that was awesome because I only went to one thrift store. If you guys liked this video, feel free to give it a thumbs up. As always, you guys can subscribe. For more of my everyday life, feel free to follow me on Instagram at emilyfaith22. If you know somebody who also might enjoy this video, feel free to share it. That helps me out a ton. I hope you have a great day and I will see you next time. Bye.